in Germany, the censorship um, of pro-Palestinian voices has gone through the roof. I mean, this is uh, this is uh, Iris, um, who's on the call uh, from Berlin, um, and she was detained by police for this uh, placard here: "Jews Against Genocide." Um, I, I, I can't really understand how that could it warrant that. I mean, we've seen, um, we've seen here some uh, censorship, but this is quite extraordinary. Um, Iris, uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Uh, I can. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you for coming on, and thank you for um, speaking in English because my German doesn't exist. <laughs> really. Yeah. Um, can you tell us, I mean, we, we've heard sort of that Germany's got a strong um, clampdown on any pro-Palestinian uh, protests or campaigns. Yeah. Well, can you, I mean, were you really detained for just holding that sign up? Yes, I was detained for holding that sign. But in the beginning, I was detained for protesting because Germany uh, actually banned any uh, pro-Palestinian, this is how they call it, at least I wouldn't say that this is the case because I'm an Israeli and a Jew, and I think it, that it's also uh, pro-Israeli to, to stop the genocide in Gaza, of course, because Israel cannot exist. Uh, I think the point of no return also for Israel um, has been arrived uh, now because it's hard for me to see how Israel can really, yeah, it, exist in, in have some future. Um, after that, uh, but uh, Germany banned uh, after the 7th of October, any until the 27th, I think, any pro-Palestinian uh, demonstration while approving solidarity uh, demonstrations with Israel and propagating it and, and financing it actually by the state. Um, and I belong to an organization called the Jewish Voice for Peace in Germany, and we asked or yeah, we applicate to, to have a demonstration against um, the Israeli genocide. It was not phrased like that, but it was anyhow forbidden. Um, so I uh, asked uh, friends of mine who are law professional, uh, whether I can uh, go alone on the street and protest against it. And they told me, yes, this is not an assembly. So this is what I did. And therefore I was detained. And after I told the policeman that it's actually allowed, it's not an assembly, I'm alone there. Um, and after they took my um, personality, ID, whatever name, uh, they apologized and escorted me to the place where I stood. But with the same sign, I was uh, detained uh, three weeks later. Arbitrary during uh, a demonstration calling for ceasefire, actually. So we are experiencing a very arbitrary totalitarian um, I would say atmosphere and deeds from German uh, authorities without any explanation. The policemen always tell, yeah, we just uh, do what we have to do, which is you know known for Jews to hear these uh, excuses. They cannot really explain why they do that. And every well, time they, they invent new reasons for that. Yeah. Right, so they're just following orders and not... Um questioning uh, and not listening to any any sort of reasonable argument about what you're doing um yeah. so i mean we're going to be i'm going to be showing a, a, an interview with craig murray in, in a while in a bit after this um about the icj um trial case uh, at the end of this week mm -hmm. um it that's about genocide i mean the word genocide is being put in that case so the fact that you're being held for the word genocide is just seems ridiculous. So if if the ICJ rule that it is genocide, Germany can't continue with that line, can they? Yeah. Well, they cannot. I don't think that we have to wait for the ICJ, actually, uh, because, I mean, already two days after it started, um, some scholars say that it's genocide and proved it. One of them was Segal, uh, an Israeli Jew uh, in the United States, um, said that it is a genocide. And and even so, you know, it's it's a, we're talking about uh, free speech. So I could say it's my opinion 
And uh, you cannot say that it's a, it's a hate speech like they tried to do because I, I said, stop the genocide. It's not that I was calling to do something bad. I was calling well. to, to stop it, yeah? Um, if, if the ICJ um, will prove and say that it is a genocide, which is not quite clear because they have to prove um, that uh, there, there is an intention for that, and this is probably the weak part um, in that, although it's it's quite clear what Israeli ministers and, and politicians and also the atmosphere and what soldiers are, are uh, saying and, and doing, we see what is done um, also. Um, it will be for Germany, it will have major consequences for Germany, not only because of that, but because um, the German politicians who are supporting that and, and giving Israel also, supplying Israel with weapon, they are complicities in the war against, in, in, a, in a crime against humanity, which Germany claim to work through. So actually we are a uh, pain for Germany, Jews like uh, me and in our organization, because we are destroying the German narrative that uh, they work through, that they are okay with Jews, that they like Jews, that they are protecting Jewish life, they are not. They are protecting German lives and Jews um, who are um, behaving according to what German, why Germany uh, wants to show, actually. Yeah. Right. I mean, we, we, we had on our show a few weeks ago, Yael Khan uh, was arrested for um, holding a placard up. And she, she wanted, I wanted her to speak to you on this show, but she's busy going to another protest at the moment. What's the... Um, What's what? How do you see the British and other countries' protests uh, in comparison with Germany? What What's your feeling on the European um, protests against Israel? Yeah. Well, first of all, I was envy. I know that it's not that easy in in Britain, but still, you know, Britain because of its uh, colonial. Um, uh, yeah, history is much more diverse than, than Germany, which is white and which is not acknowledging its colonial um, uh, history. You know, the history for Germany, according to the German narrative, started in what they call Stunde Null. I mean, that's zero time, uh, which is 1945. And then history started. And the Holocaust, this is um, the most horrible genocide that was ever done and very unique. You're not allowed to compare it to any other uh, genocide. And it means also that Germans see themselves on a, it, it's a perversion of history. I'm also a psychoanalyst, therefore I'm talking a bit in this um, terms, um, but they see themselves, you know, as the best perpetrator ever. So you cannot compete with them. And therefore they have a kind of monopole on uh, genocides and and you know we know how it is we are already once we um so once we did once we teach we are experts on anti-semitism this is the german way of thinking so now they are so it's such an expertise in german uh, society and psyche that, that they can also persecute jews for anti-semitism so many of the cancelling that were happening uh, in the last um years in Germany and month more are against Jews. Um, so we're talking about Jewish um, artist or Masha Gessen, for example, who is a, a Jewish journalist who got the Hannah Arendt prize and uh, was almost canceled. I mean, it was canceled. It was not in the Mary where it was supposed to be. And after a protest, it was in, an, in another room, which is something that happened also to Jewish Voice of, uh, for Peace, that we were canceled. But she was canceled because she said that Gaza is a ghetto and bombing a ghetto is a crime and starving a ghetto is a crime. So then, I mean, you know, Germans said ghetto, it's like, a, that's a German thing. And it's, uh, it, it means that there was a comparison to the Holocaust, uh, which they used to call Shoah because they like very much the Hebrew world. It has a, a flair, you know, of uh, we are Jews now and we are the better Jews, if you can speak uh, some words in Hebrew. Um, so it, she was uh, canceled, but she 
stayed in her opinion. She, she did not uh, appease and she said, yes, this is a ghetto. And I'm comparing, of course, because the Holocaust was not only extermination in gas chambers, it was uh, starvation. And it was, for example, I mean, with bullets, the bullets Holocaust, I mean, hundreds of thousands of Jews were shot, uh, for example. Uh, and ghetto, you know, but the, for Germany, ghetto started when they were born, kind of, in a narcissistic right. way. But the first ghetto was in Rome after the, I mean, during the yeah. Rome Empire. So Germans have the, the idea that, you know, they were the first, they invented it. It is monopolized and no one is is allowed to use it. It's their, it's their history. We are out of history, the Jews, again. Yeah. Right. I mean, it sounds. I mean, it sounds like a f fascinating um, uh, outlook. That if if the ICJ finds that it isn't, then Germany will be in a for a kind of strange epiphany, maybe where they'll see where they really are and and what's really going on. And it might might be uh, in it'll be interesting to hear you um, speak on that. Maybe after after next week, would you be able to come on? And maybe we could get Yale on as well, so you could yeah. both. Um, Put your signs up on the show, yeah, um, and com who and compare who's got the best sign. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got my sign back. I was in the police station this week because they they took both of my signs because the the new sign uh, Jews against genocide that was my new sign, and then they took it um, again. But uh, I was able to get it back. They it's a bit destroyed, but I have to restore. I'm now an expert in restoring signs, also. <laughs> Um, right. so I well, think. it will become it'll become a museum piece at some point. So yeah. you better look after it. Look, yeah. look Therefore after. Therefore, I'm it. looking after it. Yeah. Well, yeah. that. Thank you for coming on, and good. To, and it looks better in in Berlin than it does over here somehow. Uh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me. <laughs>